This week we kick off our podcast on the banks of the Danube in Hungary, where we've come to drive the new Volkswagen Tiguan 4x4. We've got lots of other news besides, including the results of our tests, which reveal more expensive superfuels like BP Ultimate aren't worth the extra cash. If you're in the market for a compact 4x4, you really don't have an awful lot of choice, do you? Well, you've got the Honda CRV, the Nissan X Trail, the Toyota RAV4, the Land Rover Freelander. Actually, the list goes on. It's a very crowded sector, and it's one that Volkswagen is going to join early next year with this, its new Tiguan, priced from around £19,500. Like most of its rivals, it's designed mainly to go on the road. We'll drive a slightly beefed up version of this later on, on an off-road course, but for now, let's find out what it's like on the tarmac. Prices are likely to start at around £19,500 for a 1.4 litre petrol developing 148 bhp. There's also going to be 138 bhp 2 litre diesel for about £1,000 more. Ah, oh, so here we are in the Tiguan's natural environment on the road. And what's it like? Well, it's very good, thank you very much. It's nice and refined, nice and comfortable, it rides well, and as we'll see in a minute, it doesn't corner too badly either. The diesel is better suited to the car and is far more refined now thanks to a new injection system. The 1.4 petrol is a little noisy when you work it hard, but it's not bad either. Later next year, more powerful petrols and diesels developing 168 bhp will be on offer. It's not exactly exciting to drive, but you can throw it about through the corner safely enough if you want to. It's also comfortable and quiet. All models have full-time four-wheel drive that only sends power to the rear wheels when the front pair start to slip. Most have only limited ability off-road, but you'll also be able to buy an escape-trimmed version like this. It has a steeper angle of approach to obstacles, a sump guard and hill descent control. This off-road course shows the kind of obstacles the Tiguan Escape can cope with, but we reckon the most off-roading most of the cars will do will be when they mount the kerb in a reverse parking manoeuvre. There are a couple more 4x4s in our roundup of new models this week. BMW has announced it'll launch an X1 4x4 to set underneath the X3 by 2010, when it'll also launch a Mini 4x4. A Rolls-Royce Coupe based on the 101 EX concept and a Gran Turismo based on the CS concept are also in the pipeline from BMW. This is the next Honda Jazz. It isn't radically different from the current model, but engine sizes increase a little to 1.3 and 1.5 litres. A diesel engine model is also possible. Sales start in the UK early next year after the car's debut at the Tokyo Motor Show. If you think expensive premium fuel is a way to further boost economy, you should think again. Tests by our expert engineer show fuels like BP Ultimate, Shell V-Power, SO Supreme and Total Exilium performed little or no better than cheaper alternatives despite costing 7% more a litre on average. Even the best performing premium, Sainsbury's 97 octane petrol, only managed to return just 0.5 mpg more than the standard 95 octane fuel. Full results from the trials are online now, as well as a series of tips on how you can save money on fuel costs by changing your driving. The Tiguan can cope with four adults and their luggage with ease, and take five adults at a pinch. The rear seats slide fore and aft, but in their most forward position, you wouldn't be able to use them for passengers anymore. The seats also cantilever forward, but they don't fold completely flat, and it's a bit of an effort to heave them back into position. Besides the Escape model we've already taken a look at, you'll be able to choose from S, SE and Sport trims. Final specifications are yet to be announced, but we'd expect every car in the range to come with air conditioning, alloy wheels, a CD player and a full complement of safety kit. A new and much improved touchscreen satellite navigation system is also on the options list, along with reversing cameras, parking assistance and full length panoramic sunroof. So there we have it, another compact off-roader for you to choose from. And don't forget, this is not the end of the line either. After this, we've got the Ford Cougar, Audi Q5, Volvo XC60. See you next week.